Extreme has, fortunately, lost most of its buzzword status. It's mostly back to meaning things on the fringe, way out near the edges where they blow our minds with their extremeness rather than simply having three times the corn syrup and colors that nature never intended. That being said, for almost every type of substance, there is a most extreme version. Sure, we've all heard stories about magnets strong enough to cripple kids from the inside and acids that will eat through your hands in seconds, but did you know there are even more extreme versions of these? In the video today, well, we're looking at 10 of them. Number 10. The Darkest Substance Known to Man What do you get when you stack carbon nanotubes on their ends and sandwich them together? Well, that's a material that absorbs 99.9% .9 of the light that touches it. The microscopic surface of the material is rough and uneven, which breaks up the light and makes it a poor reflector. Then add in that carbon nanotubes act as superconductors in certain arrangements, which makes them excellent light absorbers, and you have a perfect storm of black. Scientists are very excited about the potential applications of the substance, since virtually no light is wasted. It could be used to improve optical tools like telescopes, and even be used to make nearly 100% efficient solar collectors. Number 9. The Most Flammable Substance A lot of things burn with astounding intensity. Styrofoam, napalm, marshmallows, these are just the beginning. But what if there was a material that could set sand on fire. Chlorine trifluoride has the dubious honor of being terrifyingly flammable to the point that history's evil Boy Scouts, the Nazis, deemed it too dangerous to work with. When people who consider genocide their life's goal don't want to use something because it's too deadly, it bears treating it with a certain amount of caution. There's a story that a ton of the stuff was spilled once and caught fire, and it burned through 12 inches of concrete and another meter of sand and gravel before finally going out. I hate to say it, but in this case, the Nazis were right. Number 8. The Most Toxic Poison Quick, what's the last thing you'd want to inject into your face? Aside from something that burns through concrete and maybe the world's worst acid, coming soon by the way, I would think the world's deadliest poison would be in the top three. Not so, though, in the medical community. You've all heard of Botox, no doubt, and deadliest poison is its main claim to fame. Botox uses botulinum toxin and is so deadly, an amount equal to a grain of salt is enough to kill a 200-pound man. In fact, they even suggest that it would only take 4 kilograms properly dispersed to kill every last person on Earth. So maybe those crow's feet around your eyes would be a little better treated with an angry rattlesnake. Number 7. The Hottest Substance Ever There are few things known to man that are hotter than the interior of a freshly microwaved hot pocket, but this stuff it actually manages to break even that record. Created by smashing gold atoms together at nearly the speed of light, it's called a quark gluon soup, and it reaches a balmy 4 trillion degrees Celsius. That's a mere 250,000 times hotter than the inside of the sun. The amount of energy released in the collision was sufficient to melt protons and neutrons, which in itself could be featured in a video of things you didn't know were possible. Scientists think this substance could give us an idea of what the birth of our universe was like, so it's good to see that they aren't just creating tiny supernovas for the fun of it. However, the good news is is that the soup was only a trillionth of a centimeter across and only lasted for a trillionth of a trillionth of a second. Number 6. Most Acidic Acid Acid is scary stuff. They gave one of the scariest movie monsters ever acid blood to make it scarier than just a simple killing machine. That's the alien. So it's pretty ingrained in our psyche that getting dissolved is bad. If the aliens had been filled with fluoroantimonic acid, they not only would have probably fallen through the floor until they hit dirt, the vapors given off by their dying bodies would have killed everyone around them. It's 21,019 times more powerful than sulfuric acid, and it can even eat through glass. Oh, and it also explodes when it's exposed to water. And when it is reacting, it gives off poisonous fumes that can kill everyone in a room. So maybe we should just move on. Number 5 the most explosive explosive. This particular honor is actually currently shared between two compounds, HMX and heptanitrocubane. Heptanitrocubane mostly exists in labs and is similar to HMX but has a denser crystal structure, giving it a greater destructive power. HMX, on the other hand, exists in quantities large enough to be physically threatening. It is used in solid rocket fuel, shaped charges, and even nuclear weapon detonators. That last one is the scariest, because despite how easy movies make it look, starting the fission fusion reaction that makes bright, glowing, radioactive mushroom clouds is not an easy ball 
to get rolling, but HMX is up to the task. Number 4. The Most Radioactive Substance Speaking of radiation, it's worth noting that the glowing green rods of plutonium on The Simpsons are completely fictional. Just because something is radioactive does not mean it glows. I mention that because polonium-210 is so radioactive that it does glow, and it glows blue. A former Soviet spy, Alexander Litvinenko, was duped into consuming some without his knowledge, and he died of cancer shortly thereafter. This is not the kind of thing you ever want to mess with. The glow is caused by the air around it being excited by the radiation, and it can actually heat objects that are nearby. If the fact that something highly radioactive gives off heat, keep in mind that when we usually think radiation, we are thinking of things like a nuclear reactor or explosion where an actual fission reaction is happening. This is just your run-of-the-mill, loose, ionized particles, and not a runaway splitting of atoms. Number 3. The Hardest Substance If you thought the hardest substance on Earth was diamonds, that was a good, if inaccurate, guess. Technically, the hardest substance is an aggregated diamond nanorod. It is actually a collection of nanoscale diamonds and is the least compressible, hardest substance known to man. They aren't naturally occurring, which is actually kind of cool, since it implies that one day we could coat our cars in this stuff and just walk it off when we collide with a train. Not really. It was developed in Germany in 2005 and will likely be used in the same capacity as industrial diamonds, except it will be more wear resistant than regular diamonds. Number 2. The Most Magnetic Substance If Magneto was a small black lump, this would be him. The substance developed in 2010 out of iron and nitrogen is 18% more magnetic than the previous record holder and is so powerful it has forced scientists to revisit how magnetism works. The man who discovered the substance has taken great pains to ensure that his work can be reproduced by other scientists because a similar compound was reported to be developed in Japan back in 1996, but other physicists could not replicate it, so it was never officially accepted. If it can be reproduced, it could spell a new age of efficient electronics and magnetic engines, maybe even powered by the number 10. Number 1. The Most Super Superfluid Superfluidity is a state of matter, like solid or gaseous, that occurs at extremely low temperatures, has high thermal conductivity, every ounce of it is always exactly the same temperature, and it has no viscosity. Helium-2 is the greatest example of this. A cup of HE2 will spontaneously flow up and out of a container, as if it just decided to leave. It also seeps right through otherwise solid materials, because its complete lack of friction allows it to flow through otherwise invisible holes that would not allow regular helium, or water for that matter, to flow through. HE2 did not just wind up at number one in this video because of its ability to act like it has a mind of its own, though. It is also the most efficient thermal conductor on Earth, several hundred times more conductive than copper. Heat moves so fast through helium-2 that it moves in waves like sound rather than dispersion, where it simply transfers from one molecule to another. Incidentally, the forces governing HE2's ability to crawl walls is called third sound. And you can't get much more extreme than a substance that required the definitions of two new types of sound. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe. We got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, when you're subscribing, hit that bell icon so you find it when we put out a new video. Also, we've got a new channel. It's called Geographics. It's a geography-based channel. I'm linking to it below. And as always, thank you for watching.